guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have yet another haul for you guys. I'm going to have a ton of hauls coming up, like I said. So this is another one. This one is my drugstore makeup haul. I recently went to CVS and Rite Aid and I picked up quite a few things. Um, I haven't gone to the drugstore in a while. Like most of you guys know, I went to Florida, so I was out for a week. And drugstore makeup companies have been coming out with some really awesome products and some products that I've just been dying to try out and some things that I actually repurchased because I liked them so much. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we will start out with what I got from CVS. Um, I picked up three more of the Sally Hansen um, salon effects nail strip things. I did get one of these a while back. I got it in the um, pattern Girl Flower and it was a really gorgeous summery pattern. So um, I decided to pick up three more because I really did like it. I loved the way it wore. I liked the way it looked. I got so many compliments on it. All of the ones I got are more kind of like the boring shades. They're all black and white and they just have like a different pattern on them. So this one is called Show Your Stripes and it's really pretty. I think this one is actually limited edition. I don't know whether this one is part of the permanent range because I saw it on a separate display. But the other two I know are part of the permanent range because I got them in like the normal display section. This one is called Laced Up and I thought this was gorgeous. It just looks like lace print. Um, very, very pretty and very, like, intricate looking. I love this one. And the other one I got, which is probably, like, my least favorite out of the three, but it's still pretty. Um, this one is called Cut It Out, and, um, it's just, like, a florally black and white print. This is something that I knew I could probably do with my Conad, so I don't know why I really bought this one, but, um... It's pretty nonetheless. I got one more thing from Sally Hansen at CVS. I got the Sally Hansen Mega Shine Top Coat. Now this was a big out of my comfort zone purchase for me because most of you guys know I love my Sech Feet Top Coat. Love it. I use it all the time. Every time I do my nails, I don't do my nails without it ever. I've not used another top coat for at least a year and a half, probably almost two years now. Um, why did I get this? Because Florida Force here on YouTube loves this top coat. So that's the only reason that I got it. She said it's better than the Sesh V, which I find hard to believe. And I will let you know what I think of it and how it compares to Sesh V. I feel like nothing can really compare. But this one is a little bit cheaper than Sesh V. I think this one was about $6, whereas Sesh V is almost 8 so it's a little bit cheaper, so I just decided to try it out. If it works, it works. If not, then I will just go back to my Sesh Feet. Okay, then I was on a mascara kick. Like, I don't know what got into me, but I got a ton of mascaras. Um, the first one is a new CoverGirl one, and CoverGirl mascaras I have found through trial and error are my all-time favorite drugstore mascaras. I love the CoverGirl Lash Blast, I love the Lash Blast Fusion, I love the Lash Blast Length. I think that CoverGirl, the formulation on their mascaras is probably my favorite out of all of the other drugstore mascaras. So CoverGirl came out with a new mascara, and this mascara is called the Lash Perfection Mascara. This is the packaging that it comes in. And here's the wand. This wand has no mascara on it right now, but you guys can see it's um, pretty small compared to what I'm used to, and it's very, very spiky, bristly. It tapers in at the end, and it is a rubber brush. So I will be testing this mascara out sometime in the near future, and I'll keep you guys updated on what I think. Okay, then I got two of the Maybelline Great Lash Mascaras. Um, this is what they look like, and you guys know that I don't like the brush on this. I don't really like the formulation of this mascara either. However, I got two of these because they came out with new colored ones. This one is in the shade teal. You guys can see um, it's like a really pretty teal blue shade. Now some of you guys may know I already have the Great Lash Mascara in the shade Royal Blue and it is gorgeous. It's the most gorgeous Royal Blue shade ever. It's like a bright, vibrant blue. Um, I love the color but I just don't love the formulation but for a colored mascara I find that because I'm going to use it over another mascara anyways 
it doesn't need to have an amazing formulation it just needs to have an amazing color payoff so here's what the teal shade looks like it's a really pretty teal it's kind of a darker teal so I'm not sure how it'll show up on my lashes but when I apply colored mascaras I normally only apply it to my bottom lashes I normally don't apply it to my top lashes and I usually use a white mascara primer first that way the color really pops because my lashes are dark to begin with and the other great lash mascara I got this one is in the shade green envy and great lash did change their packaging and I think it's really cute like it's really um, stylish -like. Looking. And here is Green Envy, and this one actually really reminded me of that green mascara that came out in the MAC Wonder Woman collection. I don't remember the name of it, but it's the green one. Um, this one looks pretty similar to that from what I can remember. Okay, and then CoverGirl came out with this new Intense Shadow Blast um, eyeshadow product. It's supposed to be a primer and shadow in one. And so I got this one. This is in the shade Brown Bling. Now, I don't really believe CoverGirl when they say that this is a primer and a shadow in one, only because the CoverGirl, um, the double-ended pencil thing, it was the Smoky Shadow Blast. That thing creased like there was no tomorrow to crease. So... I'm not sure how I'm going to like this. I only got this one shade because I wanted to test it out first. It's got like a sponge tip applicator to it. And here's what it looks like quickly swatched on the back of my hand. And I'll just blend it out a little bit for you so you can see. That's what it looks like blended out. It's a really pretty taupey brown color. I really actually love the shade. But I'm just really skeptical about the actual performance of this product. I haven't tried it yet, so I couldn't tell you. Okay, then L'Oreal came out with new lip glosses, and I am a sucker for lip glosses. I just, I'm just a sucker. And these are called the um, L'Oreal Paris Color Riche Leg Gloss. Um, I think the packaging sold me too. I love the fact that it's in a tube. I love tube glosses because they don't go bad as quickly as like applicator glosses. Um, I love the gold accents on it, like the gold cap and this gold top here and how the writing is really nice. It's a longer tube, so I really love that. It's nice and skinny. I don't know. The tube just really sold me. So I got these three shades of the Le Gloss. I thought that these were really nice summer shades. These two especially, but this one is just a really nice neutral nude. You can't have too many neutral nude glosses. So starting here, this one is called Peach Fuzz. This one is called Watermelon Crush, and this one is called Really Rose. They had a ton of colors to choose from in this new um, lip gloss line. I believe they had at least maybe around 20 shades. There were a lot of them. So here are the three swatched. On camera, they're looking the same, but they're actually really different in person. You really got to see these in person. Um, this one here is Peach Fuzz. This one is Watermelon Crush, and this one is Really Rose. So I think my favorite out of the three is actually Really Rose. It's the most opaque. Um, Peach Fuzz is like semi-sheer, and the Watermelon Crush is pretty sheer. Okay, and then on to what I got at Rite Aid. So the first thing is the Maybelline Define a Line um, Eyeliner Pencil, and this is one of those retractable pencils. I believe this pencil was on the same display as the Great Lash Mascaras. However, my CVS was sold out of this liner, so I picked it up at Rite Aid. And this is in the shade Turquoise Shock. And as you guys can see, it's just one of those retractable pencils. And here's a swatch of it. This is gorgeous. I am so happy I got this liner. I was expecting it just to be kind of like a dark teal shade. And I have quite a few of those, but I decided to try it anyways. This is almost like a neon turquoise eyeliner. It's stunning. I love it. I can't. I, I'm just so happy I have it. It's beautiful. It's unlike anything I have already. Okay, and then NYC or New York Color has a new display out for summer, and they had two new blushable cream sticks on that display, and you guys know I love these, so I had to get them. So this first one is called Gold Radiance, and this is a beautiful like light yellow gold shade and this will be a beautiful cheek highlight and the other one I got is called bronze radiance and this one is like a dark bronzy shade so here are both of those swatched this one is gold radiance and this one is bronze radiance you guys can see 
they are beautiful they're so reflective and beautiful I can see using these as an eyeshadow base as well these would be just beautiful okay and then Revlon has these new nail polishes out and these are called the just tinted nail polishes and this is what they look like there were probably about five of them on the display I got this one this is in the shade mystical and this is a really pretty dark burgundy plum shade. I was pretty skeptical about this. I thought it was going to be really, really sheer. However, these are actually quite pigmented. In three coats, you can definitely get them to be semi-opaque. Um, the point of these is um, it's kind of like a lip stain. It's kind of like a nail stain sort of thing. It's just supposed to give you like a sheer wash of color. Um, you'll definitely be able to see your nail line through it, but you know for summer it's supposed to be light and fun and colorful, so that's really what this is for, and I actually really like this product. Um, three coats of this, you can get it to be semi-opaque, and it's fun. It's definitely different. I really applaud Revlon for coming up with something unique. Okay, then Wet n Wild has some new products. Um, they have these new Mega Shimmer and Mega Sparkle Shimmer Dust Confetti type things. And this is what they look like. And they just come in a pot like this. And this one is in the shade White Lotus. And it is just like a really pretty white shimmery dust. It's not um, chunky glitter. It's very fine actually. And I really like this. You can definitely use this to top off any eyeshadow look to add some sparkle to it. And the other one I got is this one. This is called Lilac Frosting. Now this is much more of a glitter as you guys can see in there. It's a really pretty like multi-dimensional reflective glitter. It's beautiful. Then I got one of the Maybelline single eyeshadows and this I got only because Emily Noel 83 here on YouTube did a tutorial using this and this is the um, Maybelline Expert Wear eyeshadow in the shade Cinnamon Spice. So here's the shade. It's just a really pretty like bronzy neutral color. I have just about a bazillion other shades just like this, but I got this because I'm a sucker like that, and it's really pretty. And there is a swatch of it on my hand. You can see it's beautiful. I really, really love the shade. Okay, then I got the Garnier Nutritionist Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller, and I've heard a ton about this here on YouTube, but I always put off buying it only because um, it looked like it was light for my skin tone, but it says... Um, for virtually all skin tones. Oh, it says for most skin tones. So hopefully this will work for me. Hopefully it's not too light, but I've heard rave reviews about this. People swear by this product, and this is what it looks like. You just basically roll it under your eyes, and it's supposed to, um, correct your dark circles, prevent eye puffiness, and, um, it gives a little bit of tint, so some people don't even use concealer after using this. Okay, and the last thing I got is something that I was really excited to see at Rite Aid. I'd never seen it before. This is the Queen Helene Mint Jewel Mask, and everybody on YouTube talks about this. Mint masks are very, very, very in, and I could never find the Queen Helene one. That's like the original one, the one that everybody recommends, the one that everybody uses, but I could never find this one, so I always had to use the CVS kind of knockoff version, I guess. It's like the CVS brand version of the mint mask, and I really liked that. I mean, there was nothing wrong with it, but a lot of people said that this one is a billion times better than the CVS one, and it's just a green paste for those of you guys who haven't seen it. It's just like the movies. You put it on, and it's like bright green. You look like a sea monster, but I haven't tried this one yet, but I love the CVS one. I swear by it, so hopefully this one will impress me. This was really inexpensive, too. I believe this was about three or four dollars so it's not very expensive at all all right so that is everything that I got from the drugstore it was a pretty big haul video um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions please feel free to let me know and I will talk to you guys later bye